New tonight, organizers of Denver's annual 420 marijuana rally are firing back at city officials. That's after the city handed down strict punishment following this year's rally at Civic Center Park, an event that left the park covered in garbage. The organizers now face thousands of dollars in fines and a three-year ban of the celebration in Denver. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Tom Muston. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas is live at Civic Center Park tonight. Dylan, the city's concerns go far beyond just the litter left behind this year. Yeah, Tom, they issued this 11-page document which highlights many different violations they feel that were found, anywhere from security violations all the way down to health hazards inside the food vendors. Well, tonight, as the city looks to move on from the event organizers this year, the event organizers tell us this is not the end of their road. Organizer of the annual Denver 420 rally, Miguel Lopez, said he learned his rally had been banned for three years after receiving a call from us here at CBS4. After reading the official notice, Lopez felt it was politically motivated. Not being the mayor's political bootlickers or cohorts, uh, we're not surprised. But the city says they emailed Lopez this notice, which highlighted a long list of violations while assessing more than $12,000 in fines. The city says Lopez's staff neglected to provide the amount of trash cans and security guards they agreed to as long lines formed. The Parks and Recreation Office added many food vendors had health hazards while serving. Lopez claimed the event was well managed, unlike previous events. There was no organization where there was no security, where there was no fencing, checking people. Several noise complaints were also filed, including one from a local judge who claimed she sent home staff after the courthouse's walls and windows were vibrating from all the noise. We were in compliance with the noise ordinance and we did not uh, get a phone call complaint. Lopez disagreed with the long list of violations. All of it. But said he would file an appeal to the ban and would fight the ruling by all means necessary. Even if it means political protest again. Um, and so we will be uh, a force to be reckoned with. Lopez has priority event status, meaning the city prefers that he put it on every year. But now with that revoked, the city says other applicants may have the opportunity to take this event over. Lopez has 15 days to file an appeal. If that is not approved by the city, he tells us there are nearby other cities and possibly states that would be willing to take on his event. We're live in Denver. Dylan Thomas, CBS 4 News.